Okay, tournament trophy game in the over 60s World Cup. This is Australia on the right versus Ireland on the left. Okay, there's Henry Brown for Ireland now, about to push back to Australia. And they're away. Back she comes. That looks like Angel Kochi there for Australia. Do we have to pay extra for the You sure do. <laughs> well, Tony Lutley for Ireland there come in quick, real quick, but couldn't quite get the ball away. And out they go to the right hand side there. Yeah. Australia threw it onto the foot. Uh, I think that's uh, Harold Lee Jong in there tackling him. He does, you're right. The green goes to Okay, he slips him back across yeah. there. Yeah. I got a flag <laughs> Australia very relaxed here. I think that's Ace just there on the ball for Australia, who's uh, normally a full Australian capped player, but in this instance he wasn't available for selection this year, so back he goes into the tournament trophy side. Oh, and there, a little bit of a dummy. Oh, and here comes Henry now, slipping it back. Oh, nearly picked off by Angel. Here's Brendan, the big wind up there, he's going along down the wing. It's a beautiful ball there to Tom Gillettley. He's been covered. Goes back into the centre, he's a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, it looks like Fergus Stapleton in there. And now here's Mick Ryan, flicks one through at Smelly. Grabs the ball, leave the ball alone, Smelly. Uh, Mick Ryan taking them on there. Oh, there's Angel nick the ball off of him. Fergus goes in and takes him back again. Uh, not happening. Ace now puts the ball out wide, but it's um, is it quite over the sideline. Umpire said yes. Feral Farrar back on the case. He was actually injured earlier in the week, number eight for Australia, but now he's back. No, nope. Angel's putting himself around. Tom Gillettley's got the ball. Oh, no he hasn't. Here's Mark Elliott now, number four for Australia. So-called smelly. Smelly in the hat. Oh, Brendan Rice, what happened there? I think it may have been a foot. Oh, not entirely sure. Certainly didn't sound like a stick. And she goes to Smelly in the hat, turns around, does a little dance, looking out wide there, looks like Noel, and Noel has missed the ball. A nice little run now for Ireland, squaring up, looking for a bit of space here. Up she goes to Henry Brown, slips one through. Chum de Letley's up there, but he's never going to make that, so that's dead ball line, 16 yard hit out. 16 yards, you're very old fashioned. Ah, 16. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't move the line, it's still in, in yards, otherwise, it's 15 and whatever it is in meters. Yeah, in pounds and pence. Yeah. Okay, Ace here now, having a good look up. Pointing over at Noel, but Noel's not moving, he moves now, but it's all to no avail. A beautiful trap. There on the reverse, slips one back in through to the centre again. Looks like Fergus going to slip one through Smelly, and he manages to do so. Henry's taking up the task now, back to Fergus. Back to Henry, slips it through. Well, Ace is pretty strong, he'll clean up, and he does. Yeah, good attacking work there from Ireland. Yep. Uh, Tom Gillettley here, sideline ball. Mick Ryan's up in support, Henry Brown's up in support. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, 
straight into the play, but that's okay. They get another shot. And it's going to be a long corner this time, so a little bit more of an attacking position. Farrell looks like he's going to get the ball, but doesn't. Umpire wants it where he wants it. Slips it back. Here's Billy Dowie. No. Had two just there in the inside channel, but couldn't quite find them. Smelly in the hat now. Pulls it back, slips it through the player. Goes one left. Oh, and that's an uh, advantage to Australia. Smelly in the hat. Puts the ball through there for Noel on the right wing. Tried to spin and turn as he received that. But, um, all a little bit too much work to do on that one. And that tells where we are, field one, Real Club de Polo de Barcelona. A nice ball out, unfortunately straight to the Australian player. Oh, that's Gary Royal there, appeared at the right half. So-called Gaza, he slipped the ball there, Angel now is going to do a little bit of a dink. And yeah, he manages to get that one, looks like he actually lost the ball. And there's Aces pushed up in the inside channel. Gary Royal now on the far side, smacks one in. There's Noel, slips on across the face to goal, but no, not going anywhere, just in behind on the right post. Plenty in and around the circle there for Australia. Looks like Danny Camilleri there in number nine for Australia in the centre forward position. Yeah, it is Danny Camilleri, so called Harry Camel. And they slip one out here as Mick Ryan pushes him back inside. He's got a good lick of speed on him. Oh, nicely done there through to Henry. He slips it back down to the centre half. Oh, 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 a little bit of anti skill there and mistrapped. And Fergus gets the ball back again, slips it in behind Smelly. Tom Dilletley has a bit of a crack. Smelly misses the ball completely, so a swing and a miss. And it's an Ireland ball, so that's, um, well, an Ireland, good pressure. Yes. No one's in any great hurry here. It's pretty hot weather in these conditions. And it's probably around about the 30 degrees at the moment. The pitch is already drying out. Well, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit slow and telegraphed that one. Harry Camel picked him off. Oh, here's Noel going backwards. No, the spin and the turn. Tried to do the spin, but it wasn't quite happening. And back she comes again into the centre. Here's uh, Harry Camel again. Tried to get the tackle in, didn't didn't work. Sneaking it back through the inside now. Here's the space here out on the right for Mick Ryan, and that's a good ball. Well seen there, he is up the line now. We can find him. Too late now. Oh, oops. Henry Brown on the burst here. He's putting real pressure on Smelly. Uh, Billy Dowdy got down there, didn't quite get anything out of it, and now they're breaking out on the left. Here's Farrell for our Australia. And Farrell's having a good look. All the way through, Harry Camel was in there, but no, nope, all to nothing. Oh, there's a lovely ball out. Oh, they through the inside channel. It's a little bit hopeful there for poor old Henry Brown. He was on a hiding to nothing. Would have happened to gotten through two Australian players in order to reach him. But he couldn't quite make it. Looks like Angel switched out onto the right now, so they're probably going to substitute him in a second. Smash one through there, the umpire calls play on. A bit of a bouncy, bobbly ball. No, Australia get it back again. Smelly in the hat. Gary Royal now. Tees one up, but didn't show. He showed it, but he didn't take it. And Gary Royal gets the first short corner of the game. Oh, looks like Australia's taking the short corner from the right-hand side, so that's going to interfere with the umpire's position. Not quite sure about this one, haven't seen this before from Australia. 
Here's a goal. So one, two, three, four. We've got two outside the D. Smelly back on the 23. He's gone out wide, so that's um, play on. Tried to go to Smelly. He's pushing left over here. Ferrell's having to make a big run to try and get onto it. Now it's a big look up. There's a, he gathers in there. It's, uh, unfortunately, the defender still has his mask on, so it's going to be pretty hard for him to see what's going on there. And uh, it's off the foot for another short corner. Now let's see what they do this time. Back to the same side. Gary Royal on the ball again. All right. No, going back the other way. Farrell Farrar. And there's Farrell now. He's about to do the injecting. <laughs> That's it, straight to the top of the D, tried to slip on through. Henry Brown was in there, smashed it back inside. Bit of a reverse stick. Another shot. Another stick. And Billy Dowie on the reverse there, sweeps it free. Now the ball's bobbling up in the air. There's Ace now, collecting, bringing it all the way back. Shoving it into contact in his usual style. Right the way through, there's a nice one now. It goes for the reverse, but it's not really happening, umpire said. Reverse stick. Another good ball out there. Couldn't quite make it though. Hold to the right wing, he's arriving on the halfway line. Good clearance out of defence, but didn't quite get the angle. Or the timing, I should say. Umpire wants that taken back, he said. Oh, back it comes. There's Ace having a look over the ball. It looks like he's going all the way back again to the full back. Australia now with two in the back line, everybody else up. With a bouncy, bobbly ball throw. Umpire calls play on. Smelly in the hat, managed to pick that one up, slipped it through the player, but um, Fergus Stapleton picked his pocket. Here's Henry Brown now, looks out for Mick Ryan. He's facing up against Gary Royal, Mick cuts back inside. Yeah, against Fergus. Yeah, yeah. Henry Brown slipped out here, he's reversed onto the wing now, so that's good. That's up the foot, there's MYOB, number three. The accountant. Henry Brown having a good look. Back to Brendan Rice. Let it slip all the way through. This is probably a good move. No, umpire didn't like the look of that. Umpire on the far side said foot. And 122 miles on the clock. Billy Dowie slips it back without looking, unfortunately. And that's a turnover ball there. Not really any pressure, so that's a little bit of a shame for Australia. At least um, sort of taking a look before throwing it. Back to Smelly in the hat. But he's going to pull the ball back. His ace, he'll do what he usually does, which is lead left and pull the ball back right. There's a great little tackle there from Henry Brown just to break down the play. MYOB now. Here he comes. Good ball through for Farrell. There's a big run now up into the D. Protect your feet. Oh. Yes, trips it out of there. Mick Ryan jumps in. Henry Brown now. Slips it back onto Mick. No, oh, umpire said play on. It looked like a foot, but he said play on. Well, there's a foot now, the Australian foot. And Mick Ryan's in a, a whole lot of space here. Slips, slips it right. No, the umpire didn't like where that was taken from, so he said take it again. Meanwhile, the Australians are all falling back into position. Okay. Australia have got their shape back. Ireland have got their shape back. Brendan Rice appearing here on the right side. It's tried to slip one there. A little bit of deception. <laughs> Too 
That's right, you're back in control again here. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed coming out, take a good look. But unfortunately, all the way over the back line and out. Okay, Australia with a three quarter court press here, not really too interested in going forward. There's a lovely little run there, but, uh, got a stick on it, couldn't quite control. And Australia come back through the inside left for Gary Royal, he sneaks one through here, which is a very nice ball received and turned, slipped out wide on the left again, they got a bit of an overload here. Gary Royal backing up in case it's needed, slipped one back, there's Billy Dowie. Jumped in very handily there, MYOB manages to get a stick on it and he's going to just relieve the pressure and pull it back. And Australia just rolls right while Ireland drops back into a half court press. Looking a little bit short on an idea here. Didn't know if he wanted to go left or right. Nobody was biting from the Ireland team. Henry just tracking the ball in the middle. He's doing a power of work over there, Henry Brown. Tracking from left to right, left to right. Here comes Dave Williamson now on the inside just to cut that ball out. And he's 122 miles. I'd walk 100 miles. With Ryan there, couldn't quite pull that one in. Now, there's a Nice ball there from Australia. Work down that left side. Let's slip one through. Yep. Anywhere will do. Just clearance on the pressure. Get the ball out. Sideline ball. Gary Royal here. He just bubbles one through there. Back to the edge of the D. Gonna lift it up now. Oh, something's happening. There's a little bit of something going on there. The umpire said it was a stick check. Is what is indicated. And the island slipped one out here, but only as far as Australia, unfortunately. Bobbling ball now. Got to be careful, mark your feet. It looks like there's a Fergus Staple from it. Here's Noel on the ball now. He's got to fire one in. It's up in the air. Oh, bouncing ball. Oh dear. It was looking a little bit dangerous in there for a second, but uh, the umpires played it on to advantage and first short corner to Australia. So, well, actually, not the first shot corner. <laughs> I think the third. <laughs> Get off the circle, guys. Get in there. Okay, and that's the end of the first quarter. Gary rolls over the ball. He's about to inject. Got a trap up the top of the D, slips out one right, he fires one in there, that's a stick, there's Billy Dowie, got a nice stick in the way there, to denial 9 all. who was um, lurking on that, uh, towards that right post and that's the end of the first quarter.
They get a notification. Okay, as the teams make their way back out again. A little bit of a change of personnel there, so Australia is obviously rotating the players. I thought Gary Royal was turning into the centre forward, but looks like maybe not. No. So Island ball again, Henry Brown with the ball and the pushback. So start of the second quarter, score nil nil. <laughs> Oh. Okay. And Henry's off to a flying start there. Unfortunately, the umpire hasn't blown the whistle, so back she goes. Yes, he's keen. Right, have another go, Henry. Hit it the other way this time, so that's it. Back to MYOB. Slipped it inside to Ace. We've got four across the back here. Uh, down the line, popped it up and into the face of Brendan Rice. So, umpire didn't like that. Australia players say, What me? But uh, no, that's fair enough. Here's Billy Dowie now. Pulls the ball back, slips him back the other direction. He's got a couple of choices here. And shows him left and shows him right. And then comes back through the middle. There we go, indeed. Now, Henry couldn't quite gather in, so it's uh, Australia ball. Well, Brendan. And back she comes again. We've got another full back wide here on the left if he needs him, and he uses him. A bit of a turn there, spins over the ball, Angel Kochi back number one on the field now for Australia. He slips it back down inside, but, uh, Billy Dowie picks it up very nicely and actually goes to the sweeper as he comes now onto the sideline and it's Australia ball. Uh, good support here for the Irish team. He's having a look now. And the umpire is right on the spot there, so 78, Declan Goulding gets involved there in the contest and makes it count. And there Brendan slips him back again to Billy. And all the way back to the sweeper. That's, that's good, patient play. It's a fair bit of movement there across the middle of the field. A little bit of pressure now from Noel for Australia. But um, oh, they've got four back. That's another one here on the right half position. The Billy gets tripped up there, but he plays on. Uh, just a fraction too quick on the whistle, but probably just as well because the ball was out over the sideline anyway, so I don't think Ireland could have any complaint about that. <laughs> oh, here we are, the Masked Avenger, Fergus Stapleton. Oh, smashed him through in the middle, but Gary rolls onto it. Yeah, and he picks him up again. He's got a good set of legs in there, Gary Royal, slips it out wide. It looks like Noel now. And play that channel. These two play together in Australia every Thursday. And Brendan Royce there. Well done, Brian. Yeah, gets one out of there. The umpire saying play on, but uh, everybody stopped, so back she comes.
Yeah. Another good ball through, but it's... Whoa! Yeah, into contest again. Australian number 15 there, can't understand why that was given against him, but I think there was a stick check. Looked like he was coming in from behind swinging. Yeah, there's the master Avenger again in the right position, number 26, Fergus Stapleton. And now he's moving away to the inside channel now. It's all very relaxed, Islander in no particular hurry. There's Harry Camel giving the ball a tap for some particular reason, best known to himself. Tom Gillespie's doing a huge run across the face of the D up there in the background. Oh, Angel Kochi there, number one for Australia, slipping the ball out. Again, well done, Brendan Rice there making a, a good saving tackle, he really had to. Yeah. That was nice, unfortunately straight to Simon, the Australian player. And now she's back out to the right wing. He slips one through, but it's not happening, and the umpire said long corner. There you go, Simon on the ball. Not long back, but Henry Brown was very busy marking his own men. Tried to push his way through, but uh, didn't manage to do so. Steps onto the top of the D. Gary Royal, they're protecting with his hip, fires one in, but it's wide of the goal. And by the time he protected the ball with the shape of his body, he'd already turned away from the goal. Which was opening up the right side. It's always going to be hard to get completely turned around. Okay, here's Billy Dowie on the, on the ball now. Smashing one through the inside channel of the Australia player, Angel. And sideline hit. Looks like Declan is going to take this, maybe. No. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I don't have a lot of space there on the left if he can switch it across there. And he's going to go the short ball. And up the inside channel, but that's sold to nothing. A blind hit, which really isn't uh, probably what was called for. A bit of a clash of sticks there. It could have gone just about anywhere, but the Australia said. White ball, so Ireland gets it. There he is, the master Avenger. Yeah. And Gary Rolls sneaks in there. Umpire didn't like the look of that. Yeah. Commentary from the crowd there, Keith Jess, ain't a bit unlucky. Right, there's Mick Ryan throwing the ball back. I and mean, everyone seems to be very relaxed about this whole deal. Well, the umpire is going to give a card here. It's a two-minute warning, so I'm not sure what that was for. No. Oh no, it looked like uh, Fergus Stable was being sent off there, but no, it's um, Gary Royal for Australia. <laughs> Oh. Oh, nice work there, 122 miles, slipped him through, just yeah, a little bit of a bubble. And Mick's going to go straight into the D, unfortunately, that rule about the five metres has been in for a while now. Nobody led outside the D, so ball went straight in, turn over to Australia. Ace on the ball for Australia, big long hit to nothing, he said, let's just have it down the other end which is a very strange position because Australia have some quality players out there. But he's decided that um, they'll defend the ball up in the opposition half. Well, Australia were looking to um, trap there. there. Oh, nice. 3D aerial skill from 122 miles here. 
Angel Kochi is um, doing his little dribble. He's uh, a small little player, but um, a yeah, very low centre of gravity and a good turn. Right, having a look up here, into the D she goes. Harry Campbell gets something on it, and it's a short corner. Oh. Billy Dow is not too happy, he's complaining that it's nothing to do with him, Your Honour. No, but the umpire's given his decision and he's not going to change it now. This will be the fourth short corner for Australia, they're back on the left-hand side again. Ace is up now, number 12 there on the top of the D, so he's probably going to do the striking. She goes, yeah, and that's a long corner, very well saved. And that's a long corner, crowd are happy with that. Going to change of personnel again for Australia, smelling the hat there, just in the 23. Australia slips it out wide, a little bit of a dribble there, slip one, slip two. Umpire said no, Australia ball. Looked like Billy was going to take the quick hit, but thought better of it. Wait for everyone to get their proper shape. Now they have some shape about them. They come out on the left, not on the right. So is that over there? Brendan now switched left. No, it's on there, slip it inside, but uh, slip, slip. There's Henry Brown now. He's got a little bit of space in front of him if he can use it here. Yeah, it slips it down. Here's Mick Ryan. There's a beautiful ball through. Mick Ryan on the burst. He didn't take that well. He straight across the D. Oh! And wasn't that a game saving tackle right there? Managed to get a stick on it and just lift it over the attacking Highland player's stick. Yeah, that was a good chance. 122 miles now on the ball. Smashes one in. It's off something there. Oh, the umpires, um, just as Henry was about to take a shot, but as it happened, Henry missed, so they still get to take the, the free hit. No, as the umpire says, give it the other way, it's an Australia ball. Or is it? Okay. Now, what's he's going to do this time? He's going to smash long again. He's, yeah, he has. Looks like he came off an island player. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, picked off there by Smelly in the hat. A little bit of an ugly challenge going on. There he is, the royal family, slips one through, very nice ball there, right onto the top of the D, Harry Campbell well couldn't gather Sean. it in. Well done, Sean. Yeah, there we go, oh, Big Sean got something on it, here's Tom Gillette now, managed to pick his pocket, there's a big space over there on the left, and Tom can slip it over there. It's all the way through, and the keeper's going to get something on it, he's managed to keep it in play. Oh, David Williamson was right in the space, but it just sneaked past him, here's Angel Kochi now. Oh, here's Mick Ryan. He's got a big drag on him if he can do it. Slip one, slip two, but no, Ace got him. He protected very well. Oh, danger, dear, oh dear. Stick over the top there, that's uh, not very good at all. He's arguing with the umpire, but he shouldn't be doing that. The play goes on meanwhile down the other side. Sorry, folks. Um, it looks like Sean switched wings again, has he? Um, there's Farrell out to um, Barry Royal, he's slipping his way through there. Call the ball back, that's nice, Harry Camel. There's a foot onto Farrell, so he's going nowhere. And they're happy just to slow the play. Meanwhile, Australia reset. I'm going to lift one over the top here, which is a little bit of a strange play, I would have thought, but it managed to find its way through. And he slips him down there to the wing. Unfortunately, couldn't quite line him up for Harold De Jong, who was over there in the orange glove. And just under four minutes left now in the second half. And the score 
first half, first, second quarter. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so the cross is there. Yeah. And Gary Royal there with a the flat stick reverse tackle. Going to slip him through to Smelly. He's looking left and he's going to do his usual thing. So out to Noel. Over here, he goes back long for Angel Kochi, but Angel's little legs are never going to catch that ball. And he's given up. <laughs> Come on, Alan! Come on, Alan! Yeah, yeah. I'm my dreams. There we go. I'd walk 122 miles, and I'd walk 122 more. Smashed him down the line here. And that's out and return the favour back to Australia. Right. Harold de Jong has changed wings now. We have him over here on the right wing. What do you say? Come on, Aaron. Uh, Billy Dowd is pushed up here onto the right half position to pick up Danny Camilleri. Pushed right the way through there for Noel. He got a stick on it, but he's never going to catch that. Expect it where it just came from. And so two minutes twenty on the clock, and it's um, and coming up for the end of the first half. It's been an interesting half. A couple of chances both ways. Ireland has had several short corners. Uh, sorry, uh, Australia have had several short corners, but have managed to convert. Yeah, and a very nice flat stick tackle. There's 122 miles. Harold Jong is going to slip it back here to Mick Ryan. He's back inside. Angel Cossey gets a little bit of a touch on the thing for Australia. Yeah, and here's uh, a bit of competition going on. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, unfortunately, the crowd not very happy with that. But there's, yeah, this Nelly comes in here. It looks like 122 miles. He's going to get a hold of that one again. Slips him back, Harold De Jong. Harold can get there if he, bur if he burns. No, he tried, but he just didn't have the speed or the pace about him. He's looking across the inside. He's smashed it straight into Harold. He's going to slip it left. But that's no good. Yeah, Harry Camel would have had to have been um, would have had to left ten minutes ago to get that. We're looking for a ball because uh, the ball's gone out of play. <laughs> nope. Uh, looking for the ball outside the field to play. I actually managed to find it now. So 45 seconds remaining in this half. And there's the ball. 122 miles off the Australia stick. No. And no, the umpire said Australia ball. So. Come on, Aaron! There we go, the long ball into the D. Yeah. And Feral Farrar was lurking on the back post there, but uh, Peter read him well. And that's just the last five seconds now, so that'll be the end of the first half. And so, the score at the end of the first half. Ireland nil, Australia nil. Well, the teams are gathering again. Got, uh, 24 seconds on the clock and the Water goes off. Oh, here they come. A little bit of welcoming and a pause there from the crowd. Well, the hoot is gone, but the players aren't all on the field yet. Um, the umpires are out, the goalkeepers are there. Looks like Farrell has got the ball for Australia, so he'll be shoving back to Ireland. Come on, Ireland! Come on, Ireland! Come on, Ireland! Uh, Hood is gone, whistle's gone. 
<laughs> Gary Royal waving at the camera there. Oh, Brendan Rice here on the bus, but unfortunately he's run into Simon. He's come straight back now. Australia chain looks like they changed their shape here. They shoved Ace forward and shot a nice ball through to Gary Royal. There's um, Ferrell step step. The Gary's run through. Left everyone behind. Now he's being tracked. Well done, Henry. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Uh, good running there from Charlie Taylor, but uh, he was being channeled by two Australians. He really didn't have a whole lot he could have done. No. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's nice clearance there from Peter. And now she goes for a long corner. Ace takes it and moves it five metres. He slips one. Straight into Peter again, he's up the legs. Oh no, sorry, 122 miles. Uh, slips him through there, it's Ferrell, dribbles one in. Nice little dribble left, right. But no, he only gets it back out as far as Gary Royal there on the reverse stick. Henry Brown puts it into Royal's legs. Simon comes in. Umpire seems to be playing on, but now finally blows a whistle. And Brendan Rice is all the way back at the centre of defence. Slips one through the centre now. Come on, guys, try to pick him up. You have it, you have it, Peter. No. And the other umpire is indicating it's a 16. No, he's indicating it's a sideline ball. A sideline ball? Yeah, so he is too. It's a bit hard to tell with a disengaged umpire with the arm up the way he was. Not quite sure what's happening over there. Looks like he put the ball straight onto Feral's stick. The ball's in there. That's a nice little lift out. Oh, yeah. 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 Ireland come away with it. Here's Mick Ryan going to go over the top. He seems to go over the top. The Australian player is not watching the ball and it's about to bubble through. <laughs> Henry there with a bit of anti skill. And he just come away with a, with a free hit. Both players running without looking at the ball, but um, on the back Ireland's way. Yeah, Mick Ryan now. Tried to take the player on. Probably would have been better to go back and around, but anyway, he's smelly in the hat. And his little baby steps. Up to Gary Royal now on the left wing. Yeah. 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 Smelly in the hat again. He's back on. He looks for a player. Didn't find him. Oh! That's well played. There's Tom Gillette, Lee, tried to slip one through with a first time move, and it's gone dead over the sideline. Australia now, they've got a back two over here. Now it comes out to MYOB. It's long down the wing, Australia pick it up nicely, slips it through. Billy Daly's in there, but he's got two on one against him here. Yeah, nice little bit of work down that right sideline. Oops, so sorry. Is... Oh dear. Well done, Brendan. Simon in there with a slashing stick for Australia. But, uh, Brendan Rice was up to it. Looks like he may have caught the ball in a bit of an unfortunate place there. He's feeling himself. Yeah. Tried to go the aerial, but it's bounced away there. Uh, found his way through. Henry Brown got a stick in it, back of three on the smelly stick, and it's getting all a little bit ugly out there at the minute. Everyone's not really getting a decent purchase on the ball. It's a tricky surface, this one. Oh, and here's, uh, they've got an overload here on the right-hand side of Ireland can um, swoop. Henry Brown has sneak one across. Uh, smelly got something on it, he's going to pull the ball in there just between, before the sideline. They're in the corner now. 
I mean, what's happening? It's an island ball. I didn't like the look of that. Oh, this is the first time Ireland's been up in this half in the attack. Uh, McRyan now see what he can do with it. And, oh, umpire said play on, and what's he calling here? A 16, I think. Oh no, I think he's changed his mind. Looks like he's giving a short uh, yeah, a long corner. Guys. Yeah. Uh, Noel was just waiting for that, but he's um, messed the thing up as well. And uh, now Harlan's returned the play. It's, the ball seems to be going smash, smash, smash. Left, right, and centre. There we with a little bit of skill there and a bit of a dribble. Farrell Farrar tried to bring it in on his reverse and missed. Sideline hit. Now Billy Dowie. Leave it, they say. Take your time. 122 miles on the case. He looks long, there's a nice, nice space up the wing there. Unfortunately, he's straight out over the sideline, but there's a good lead there from Tom Gilletley and Harold de Jong. Oh, a roll. Yeah. Looked like it was going to get played on. Come on! Okay, third quarter, 10 minutes 20 on the clock. There's Ace, he's going to try and run it. Yeah, now with a jong, he tried to slip on. That uh, call from Henry Brown there was a good call. And again, he didn't quite get the angle he needed. A little bit hopeful there. Umpire's calling play on here. Uh, David Williamson on the burst. A good turn of speed for a, a part time goalkeeper. And this player is holding the ball behind his back and tracking sideways, and the umpire said, quite rightly, obstruction. Uh, Mick Ryan is. Oh, and the umpire is giving a short corner, actually. Well, there's an interesting decision. I wouldn't have been very happy if I was a defender. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. Well, now this would be interesting with Ireland's scores. There's the first short corner for Ireland from a bit of a technicality. See what we can, Ireland can do here. It's all set straight up the top of the D. Slip left. Yeah, Mick Ryan with a hit, but it's uh, off the stick and out over the back of uh, Simon for Australia. So that's a long corner. It's a very nice ball slip through. Fire one in. Oh, there's uh, the goalkeeper for another long corner. I'm not sure who that goalkeeper is. Don't recognise him. Hasn't done much so far in the game, but he's um, been involved just now a couple of times. Here's 122 miles, going to try and slip on across. Angel Kochi manages to get his own foot there, just on the edge of the D. And it's. Uh, Mick Ryan now on the far side, and slip one through. And David Williamson now fires one in, only as far as Ace, who is now going to take the ball on his own little run. On his left hand, and he's gone long here. Billy Dow is back there. And 
Brendan Rice, and the back long again. And his ace is back on the sideline. Simon's let it run out here to Noel on the right wing, so they've got a big lot of space out there. And he's got long into the far corner, so that's really stretched the play here. Brendan, the captain, has managed to get a stick on it, and he's pulling the way out of there. Yep, very well protected there from Brendan Rice. Very deceptive, and that's slowed the play down with uh, just under seven minutes remaining in this half. Okay. Oh, and looks like he hit the turf there and then the ball, and it bounced awkwardly. Umpire's flown in Ireland in uh, Australia's favour. So he's saying, I think he's saying, what's he saying? Must have been danger there, smelly in the hat. There's a big scramble going on there, and the umpire's looking at the other disengaged umpire, and he's given the long corner. He had the view from his angle. A bit hard to see with all the bodies in the way there. Who's on the top of the circle? And Smelly shakes his head in disgust at his own player, I think, for not uh, passing him the ball so he can get on with it. Here he is now. And slip it through, and it's straight into the D, and that's a turnover. A very good ball there. Yeah, and work it out down that right side. Well played. Slip him through again. And it's, I'm not sure what that signal the umpire made was then. A little bit of strange signal. But anyway, Australia ball. MYOB. Come on, Southern Cross! Back she comes. Two at the back now for Australia, so coming across to the right, slip back to the left. Very, very slow pace on the ball. And back to the left again. Ireland's on a three-quarter court press here, so they can do that all day if they want to. Slips one through there. Oh, ball players missed the ball. And there's a very nice ball through here. Oh, Fergus Stapleton slips one back there, the Master Avenger. Here's Smelly in the hat. Wants to with Nobody's engaging him. He slips it through to Ace. This could be danger. They need to get him outside the day. And then 122 miles as a cleaning up for Ireland. And Simon now. Sideline ball. Oh, not quite sure if he got his own foot there or something. It's a little bit, little bit awkward. His Ace is looking to slip one in. Oh. Oh, yes. Shot away on goal, and then the umpire says short corner. And probably right this song. Okay, so there's the Australian short corner attack. Ace with a hit. It's uh, off the stick. And the umpire said 16. No, there's Ace versus the Master Avenger. Oh, and Declan there, snuck in behind him, so let's put him off. Here's Noel, he's got to come back again. Uh, Dave Williamson says, take me on if you can, and they did, but he's had to go all the way back around. So that's broken down the play and everybody's reformed, they've got their shape back. Back through the centre channel now to Gary Royal, he's straightened up. they have got a bit of a run here, he's got a player on the right if he can find him. Yeah, there's Simon now, he's lost it under his feet, but he's got it back again. Good boy. Gary Royal, nice flat stick tackle there for 122 miles.
Good work. Gary Royal again, he's still got some good legs on him at this stage in the tournament. Oh, there's Charlie, Charlie picked his pocket there, all right. Uh, Dave Williamson's going, he's, uh, he's away down the other end of the field. It would have been good if he could have gotten onto it. There's Simon back on the ball now, going to slip him back here, which is what he does to get out of trouble. And Australia's calling the ball back to reset. Yeah, little one twos here. Australia's leading down this side. Harry Camel's back on the field here. And that's going to roll out to nothing, I'd say. Yeah. Very well watched over the back line. A minute 42 in remaining in this third quarter. Oh. Oh, sideline, over to the sideline, the umpire says. It's a 16, but over at the sideline, somewhere there, that'll do you. Okay, let's have a look at the position of the players. Oh, no, oh, no. Uh, not really enough pace on the ball here to be... Take head, take head! Needle dink, have a look. There's a stick check by Simon, so... Well, they're quite relaxed here, coming out from defence with a minute left on the clock. I'll get down the sideline here. Henry Brown got something on it, but couldn't quite bring it in, and it's turnover ball. 45 seconds on the clock. And Simon gets reversed at trap boy. Well done, David. Yeah, between Davy and the Master Avenger, they do enough to get possession of the ball. There's 32 seconds remaining on the clock. Ball, Ireland! 30 seconds! There's a big hit. That's a nick off an Australian stick soul. Here we are on the sideline hit. Uh, the ball's run all the way to nothing. Australian keeper's retrieving it, but he's not going to be in any great hurry. Oh, he is, actually. A big hit into the circle, David. Into That's all the time. Hand. Just a big hit into the circle. Oh, into right, the circle. Well, uh, Take that high. Take that high. But hey, Davy Woods uh, had to wait for the goalkeeper to get back into the goal because the goalkeeper, in fact, did retrieve the ball for Ireland. So, good sportsmanship all round. So three quarters gone, and the score nil all. Okay, well, here come the teams again for the fourth and final quarter. Yeah. 
Yes. Well, is that a corn, corn in the market in China? Hello, Diamond! Hello, China State. Come on, Ireland! Big effort! Come on, Ireland! Come on, Ireland. Come on, Ireland. Okay, uh, Australia with the ball, Harry Camel. Come uh, The pushback again. Waiting on the umpires. Uh, oh, it looks like the island goalkeeper is down adjusting his pads at the minute. Over here on the right, so um, nothing's going to happen until he has done so. Okay, the keeper's up. Oh, Australia, they're obviously out for the win here. Didn't do the um, the right thing and return the ball. So not exactly the sportsmanship that we were quite expecting. Well oh, uh, Davy Wood slips one through his legs. Here's Dave Williamson now on the burst. Oh, couldn't quite get to the ball in time, tried to sweep it across there, but there was um, quite a brace of Australians in the centre. It would have taken something special to beat them all. 122 miles now, slips one wide for David Williamson. No, oh, and uh, MYOB on the ball there, number three for Australia, manages to um, pick his pocket. Ace has dropped back into defence. He's pointing up high. He's Oh, he's taken that ball from it, he smashed it to nothing. Sideline hit. <laughs> uh, just about everyone ducked there, including the umpire. Uh, and this will be an Ireland ball. And a brace of players in front. Locking it in, so it's forcing Ireland round the back. Here's Billy Dowie now. Trying to push it back through the centre for some reason, not quite sure why. Maybe didn't have a wide option, but anyway, it's off the Australia stick. Ireland! One word! Use your speed! Plenty of movement up the front there from Ireland. It's topped the ball here. It's Gary Royal now, the Princess Line. <coughs> oh, he's, he's a tricky little beast out to Noel. They turn around, a little bit of a dink through, but there's too many white shirts in there. Off a foot, off another foot. Eventually the umpire sees one of them and says, I've had enough. Another big long hit down the line, and it's away over the sideline for an Australia ball. Trying to slip it through. Uh, angles, Gary, no, angles! We pulled it back. Yeah. Yeah. The princess line lost out there. The Royal Princess. Oh. Oh, very nice ball through. He just bounced on the Declan stick. And out the other end for a 16. Eventually a whistle goes here. And um, Ireland recycle. Back through Billy, 122 miles. He's going to slip it through the inside channel. Doesn't quite get there though. And there's Davy Woods in there. Here's the Master Avenger. 
Fergus Stapleton, Smelly in the hat. Ace now having a look. He's looking for players, but there's nobody forward. They're all in a line. Now they're running. Somebody needs to move. Somebody needs to move towards. And he's just letting him run the ball here. He slipped the ball through, and the umpire's given the 16. He walked that ball all the way up from beyond the halfway line, and the defence just kept backing off and backing off. Angel Kochi trying to engage him now. Ferro Ferrar trying to engage him. Gary Rowe picks his pocket that time. Harry Camel now having a look. Looks left, looks right. Oh, the Master Avenger sneaks in behind him. Billy Dowdy now. Here's that masked man. Here he comes again. He's going to slam one through here. Top the Australian stick. And that's going to go out for a sideline hit right in the corner. One two happening here. That's nice. Mick Ryan now providing support. Slips one through, tried to lift it, but Smelly picks that one. And the umpire blows for Australia. Actually comes across the back, MYOB. On the ball now. Slips it out wide to the right wing. Back inside, Angel Kochi. Now, this old um, MYLB again is coming out here nice and easy. He's again starting to advance, but there's not really a whole lot ahead of him that isn't marked. And Billy Dowie now, he can slip one through. Well on, Billy, good early ball. And Ireland come away with it from one side to the other. Yeah, Mick Ryan going to stick one through here. Oh, that's an island ball now. He's going to slip it through. Oh, oh, oh Chad the thumb delightly got a, a little bit of a piece of that one in just wide of the left post. And Ace was trying to be a bit cute there, he wasn't taking the ball from the 16, he was actually probably close to 20 metres out. Oh. Oh, and that was a nice idea there from young Davy. tried to put one through on the post, but fortunately couldn't get anyone on the end of it. Uh, ten minutes left now in the fourth quarter. Oh, a long ball down the sideline and out. Brendan Rice. Uh, now back to Mick Ryan, reposition the ball. Lifts it up. Now Smelly in the hat. Harry Camel on his own little run here. He's surrounded by white shirts and uh, too much pressure there. Farrell Farrar was injured earlier in the week. I think he's on his way back from injury, so couldn't quite bring that ball in as he would have liked. Billy's going to slip the ball across here to his left. 122 miles is making good ground here. Slips him out to the right. Mick Ryan there again. No. But uh, the Royal Princess managed to grab a hold of that ball. And that's hit too long. And out. Yeah, slip left, there's the space, all right. Here we go along here. That's a great ball there, it's Tom Gillettley. Slips one straight through into the middle. Uh, a bit of a gang tackle there, but uh, unfortunately the umpire didn't like the look of that. And said, Australia ball. And we turn the favour to, to Ace here on the... 
He scores away again. He's really got a burn to get back in there. Here's Davy Woods. He steps over the ball, steps him out wide. Yeah, but he's not going to get through there. Face it, Sean, face it! Let's have a look where the players are here. But she comes back and around, steps right. Henry Baum putting on the pressure, you've got to step out of there, otherwise you'll be giving away a short corner. Slips one through, but that's a foot. Now, Angel Cotzi there. Under a little bit of pressure, couldn't quite bring the ball in. Oh, 122 miles, it's a Declan's out there, but he's um, not going to make it. But still, it's an island ball on that sideline. And Ireland marches the way up the field here. And the going to last one in, but unfortunately, that's the second time he's done that. And the rule hasn't changed from the first half when he did it. <laughs> and so that's unfortunate, but it's a turnover to Australia. Ireland are calling the players across to try and keep that press happening up there. And just have a zoom out and see <laughs> where the players are. Play the short ball. Back through the inside channel, Royal Princess. Oh, MYOB gets the ball under his feet. Mick Ryan gets a little bit piece of it, but out over the sideline. MYOB back on the ball now for Australia. A oh, sudden cross, I should say, really. But anyway, it's an Australian team. Oh, Tom Delently here. Up the line. Oh, I was a short corner. Unbelievable. Mark Elliott. Game saver for Australia on the line there. Tom Delitley did all the work, lifted the ball up. Uh, Mark Elliott, smelly in the hat, managed to get a piece of it and cleared it off the line just enough to save the day. <laughs> Now Ireland got a second bite of this cherry. Looks like Mick Ryan is looking very interested. Uh, he's down there for a stick trap. I'm not sure what he'll be doing with a stick trap there when there's nobody around him. Slip it back across, but that's um, too high, unfortunately. All broke down. So that's been a couple of great chances there for Ireland. With uh, five minutes left on the clock. <laughs> oh, Tom Gillette here is applying a bit of pressure. Good work from him. Uh, back to Ace. He's cut it back inside into Simon. Takes it back outside again. Yeah, it goes long. Down to Ferrell. He's uh, getting his head up. Billy's on the case here. What's happening now? It looks like there was a foot there. That's going to be a short corner. Yep. Come on, So they've gone from one end to the other. Australia have got plenty up and around the D. Options left and right. It'll go to Ace on the top there, which it does. Stick trap and he shoots. And by Billy Dowie in front of goal. There's a long corner. 
3 minutes 28 on the clock. And Smelly in the hat takes it early to ace. In there, he's going to look for a foot here, I'm sure. Missed the ball completely. And the umpire said, I'm sorry, but um, you're out of here. Oh, umpire said, take it back to the 16 yard spot. Here's Billy Dowie now, taking a look around. Slips him out wide to Brendan Rice. Brendan couldn't quite get it under control as he was put under pressure there. Two minutes 46 on the clock, so... There's certainly... Um, time is precious just now. Royal Princess on the ball. Gets it long, it's right there, straight in there. Yeah, not fives. Farrell picked up the ball, but it went straight in. He gives the umpire a look, but he said no. Well, Billy Dow is taking a bit of a knock on the shoulder there. Hey guys, we have an emergency here. Ireland! Come on, Ireland, two minutes! <laughs> Oh, there's a bouncing ball through here. Here's Harold De Jong, and just to get something on it. That number's there. There's Declan. And they've got another one over here on the left side. Get a touch. Oh, oh. So Declan kept on running there. The keeper left it go. All it wanted was a touch. Minute 36 on the clock. Oh, he smashes the ball back. He's not too happy with things. But the umpire says, you'll take it where I tell you to take it. And he smashes it back again. <laughs> and a big hit out of there. And that's off the Australian stick, is it? No, no, it's um, off the Ireland stick, so it's a hit, sideline hit to Australia. And the two sprinting down the sideline to pick it up. Everyone's falling back for Ireland. Australia still have three in their own half. He snips the ball through. 122 miles. Tried to pick his pocket. Angel Pochi on the case as well. Snips it through here. Snips it through and he chases it down into the corner. But he's not going to quite get there. Oh, it's off his feet. Oh, unfortunate there. <coughs> and smashes a long ball down here. But that's out over the sideline. And there's uh, the last 20 seconds. Here's your Kochi now. Slips the ball wide. Smelly in the hat. Hits it long. Looks for something. 122 miles, Simon picks his pocket, here's Ace. He's going to get into the D now. Oh, the post, under the keeper. And what's he given? Oh no, that's time is up. Unbelievable. Oh, what a finish. Ha. Millall. What a game.